Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market and today guys we touch on Harry Kane because we have many stories and I wanted to clarify something about that but also on Mason Mount and important to remind on McAllister and Kovacic. Let's jump into it together. <music> And guys, let me start with midfielders today because there are many things to discuss, but I wanted to clarify two things. We have many rappers now in England, I would say finally, after I said something uh, a few days ago about Matteo Kovacic and Manchester City saying that the deal is done or something like that. Uh, guys, what's the point at the moment? The agreement between Matteo Kovacic and Manchester City over personal terms is really close. More will follow in the next days. Chelsea and Man City will speak, so I will keep you posted. The deal is advanced, as I mentioned days ago. The agreement is close close between player and Man City waiting on the two clubs but nothing will happen today so relax and let's follow the situation in the next days for Matteo Kovacic to Manchester City meanwhile important update on Alexis McAllister because Carlos the father of the player will be in England this weekend the mission is to complete the negotiation for Alexis McAllister next week we know Liverpool are absolutely the front runners they have to complete some final details on the contract of the player and then Alexis will become new Liverpool player. Uh, they have an agreement in principle on the length of the contract, on the salary, it's about some final clauses that they are discussing for Alexis McAllister and then he will agree 100% the personal terms with Liverpool and then join Liverpool because they will pay the release clause to Brighton and trust me, if you see reports of 70 million, 65 or 60 million pounds, no, it's way less than this, the release clause. And this is a very good deal for Liverpool in this case if they will be able to complete everything. But the timing is very clear next week for Alexis McAllister transfer. Also important to say uh, one more thing about Mason Mount, guys. We have many reports and uh, I can say again, as we mentioned here on the channel, yes, Manchester United want Mason Mount. Yes, Manchester United will be in contact uh, after uh, this important Saturday with the final. They will focus next week on some contacts on the market and they will be in contact with Chelsea for uh, Mason Mount. Chelsea insists asking at least 80 millions for Mason Mount. Man United don't want to spend that money for the midfielder. They really like him, but they believe that that money is too much for a player who is out of contract in summer 2024. So let's see this strategy game where we'll go, how long Chelsea will keep asking for their money or if May United will decide to make different kind of proposal but May United are there for sure Liverpool interest remains but May United are there May United want to make a bid May United want to open the situation around Mason Mount also because we had reports of personal terms agreed. I'm told that this is still not the case. So there is not a contract ready for Mesa Mount and Manchester United. But May United feel and feel very sure of that, that Mesa Mount would be prepared to say yes to May United in case they reach an agreement with Chelsea. So Mesa Mount would not be an issue in this story. It's about the clubs. Mesa Mount is prepared to say yes to Manchester United. Let's see what happens with the clubs and with Mauricio Pochettino, who is still hoping to keep the player at the club, but looks really unlikely now. And and then Harry Kane, guys, I wanted to clarify one thing. Relax around Harry Kane, because I see many reports about Real Madrid, uh, as we had about Bayern, but Bayern are not going for Kane. We had many stories, and of course also about Man United, but nothing will happen this week, next week. It will take time. Why? Because of Tottenham. I think many times in this Harry Kane situation, his name is everywhere, but many people forget about Tottenham. He's a Tottenham player. He's a Tottenham legend. He has a contract at Tottenham. And I think Daniel Levy was showing in a very clear way a few years ago how strong he is in the negotiations for Harry Kane. He said no to a big amount of money from Manchester City. It was, of course, years ago, but the feeling remains that Daniel Levy will fight to keep Harry Kane at the club. He will try again to offer him a new contract. He will try to present the project with a new manager who is going to arrive uh, very soon, with Ange Postecoglou as favorite, but Luis Enrique remains disgusted internally. So he will present a project to Harry Kane, a new contract to Harry Kane, and the chance to stay at the club. Daniel Levy will try his best because it was a very disappointing season at Tottenham, and so Tottenham will try to give something positive also to their fans by keeping Harry Kane at the club. It's not easy because, of course, when a player has one year left on his contract, it's a dangerous situation. There is strong interest because it's true that Real Madrid appreciate the player, but at the moment there are no negotiations ongoing and nothing is going to be imminent or fast for Harry Kane. So forget about a fast transfer. At the moment, there can be Real Madrid interest, for sure. Uh, also Manchester United, because Man United remain obsessed with Harry Kane in terms of 
perfect striker for the idea of Erin Tenag, but all clubs know that it's going to be difficult to negotiate with Tottenham. So let's see where we go. Uh, let's see the direction of this deal. But after, Tottenham will have a new manager, a new director, and they will try once again to keep Harry Kane. Then, if in that case, the relationship will be broken, we will see. But as of now, we have to respect Tottenham and their timing in his Harry Kane story. And for Real Madrid, let me say that is everything also really important for Karim Benzema because the priority of Real Madrid now I told you yesterday about Kai Havertz but this is not depending on Benzema Benzema in or out in any case Real Madrid want to go for Havertz and will try to understand the conditions of the deal for the case of a striker of course they want a backup striker but it's important to give priority to Karim Benzema waiting on Karim Benzema final answer Ancelotti said he's still under contract with us for one more year this is the truth but it's also important to mention that Real Madrid are giving priority to Benzema waiting for the final decision of Karim Benzema in the next hours or days so it's really important to understand what Benzema will do before Real Madrid will attack the strikers market for others is different. Avers is different kind of player and Real Madrid are interested in him in any case. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories. Many things to say. Alexis McAllister, Mason Mount and also the situation of Matteo Kovacic and of course, Harry Kane. Guys, let me know your thoughts here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel and see you soon with Fabrizio.